As Kathy said, RJ uh, is disappointed that he could not be here this evening uh, due to uh, weather problems and mechanical difficulties. But on his behalf, I'd like to thank the National Press Foundation for this great honor and for recognizing both RJ and our news organization. This year is the 75th anniversary of CQ and the 65th anniversary of Roll Call. And RJ has been a member of our family since 1986 when he began as an illustrator at Roll Call. In addition to Roll Call, his work has appeared in The New Yorker, The Nation, The Washington Post, and in syndication across the country by Kegel Cartoons. He is proud to carry on in the tradition of the Berrymans and all the towering political cartoonists of the 19th and 20th centuries who were his heroes growing up. Men like Bill Maudlin, Walt Kelly, Herb Block, Jeff McNelly, Pat Oliphant, and the founding father of cartoonists, Thomas Nast. Nast was RJ's biggest inspiration early on when he was, as he puts it, quote, a meticulous crosshatcher working in a deliberately old-fashioned style. It's been many years since RJ has lived here in the nation's capital, but he knows that it is custom to begin any speech here in DC with words of praise for the president. So if RJ were here, he wanted to say, thank you, President Trump. If not for you, I would not be receiving this award. <laughs> And here's why. Back in 2016, when Trump took the stage at the Republican National Convention, RJ had his doubts. He was skeptical. Those were dismal times for political cartoonists and for the newspaper business in general. From a cartoonist's point of view, there was the relative lack of material. For eight years, there were eloquent speeches an earnest policy wonkery from the likes of President Obama and conservatives like Paul Ryan. They had left cartoonists with little to chronicle but the rise of the Tea Party and the hardening of the ideological divide between Democrats and Republicans. And the thought of a Hillary Clinton presidency only promised four more years of the same. So for cartoonists, there was a time in America when scandal was salacious and impeachment was a farce, cheap and easy fodder for cartoonists all. So imagine the canvas that RJ has had since Trump's election and the work he has done in the past year. If RJ were here, he wanted to thank President Trump for leaving the business world and entering politics. And he would have said, thank you, Mr. President, for your tweets. You are, in RJ's words, the very best thing that ever happened to editorial cartoonists. <laughs> I know if RJ were here, he would like to thank his wife, Mary, but also design editor Chris Hale and news editor Andrew Menezes for their partnership and work on his behalf for nominating him for the Berryman. So please accept RJ's thanks and mine on behalf of CQ Roll Call and Fiscal Note, our parent company, for this great honor. <laughs>